Welcome back. Um, I know you're getting tired now if you've been looking at these DVDs non stop. Uh, this is going to be a short. This is uh, the customization part of the program, the specialization of it, and uh, delivering the message home in a way to really get to the needs of the telecom company down there. Now, I'm going to let John to get, take you through that as. He is a specialist in the subject and he knows how the customization should work. We've broken this down into eight modules. Uh, general management, financial accounting, project management, supply chain management, public relations and communications, people management, sales of course, and then regulatory management. Uh, these will be very focused and they will be dealt with primarily in small groups. Uh, from the general management, the leadership perspective, we're going to look at uh, financial engineering, of course, uh, and portfolio management, which is something which is very specific. And then a theme which occurs all the way down through the list, really, which is risk management. Mm. Uh, I mean, here we are actually making the main CEOs, uh, people who are looking at opportunities, developing mergers or takeovers and sure. uh, giving the overall and the other ones who are going to answer their stakeholders. So. I presume you're probably going to have a mergers and acquisition team in place so they're going to need specialist training and we need to talk to you and find out exactly what that is and how we can, how we can focus just on that small group. And then financial accounting, um, cost accounting but with an emphasis on communications because you now got shareholders. Um, fixed asset management. There are lots of capital yeah. you know, investments. So. Exactly, and then we throw in risk management again because if you're talking about money, it's mm -hmm. paramount. Project management, um, two options here. Prints, which is a common one which is used in the business, and ITIS also. Okay. Which is more well, I, I think we'll be doing a lot of project management in the main program, but this is for key project leaders, those who are going to sit down and say, that you are, you are, you know, sort of underestimating or overestimating, and those who can really look at the project and say that this is not real. I mean, that's usually the problem. We, we, we think that we can do it in six months and it takes six years to do it. I think project management skills are important to everybody, but there is a specialist role in project management. My son is a project manager and he scoffs at my attempt with Microsoft. Uh, supply chain? Supply chain management is really interesting. This is one mm. of the new ways where you can gain a competitive advantage. Uh, we've really cracked what we're doing with product and price these days, and most people understand promotion. But getting your supply chain right can give you a real improvement in your position, cut your costs, and allow you to really move forward. Uh, public relations and communications. This is new, isn't it? Um, the whole idea of PR, uh, you know, uh, to me PR is about your brand, so this is taking the brand that you've got, working with you to understand what image you want it to portray, what personality you want it to have, and then going out there and spending money to, to install that in customers' minds, because the mobile industry is very brand-oriented, uh, and customers are, are very fickle, so um, if your brand isn't strong, you're going to hide up with the churn that you don't want. I think here we, we look at strategic marketing anyway in the main core program, and here we're really going hands on with marketing, advertising, public relations, customer care, and actually what's going to happen so that they can deal with even outsourcing it or internal sourcing it. Customer care is interesting. Uh, I saw a video the other day that. Actually, I found lying around in one of these classrooms here, and I watched it. And it was uh, it was Tom Peters, the guy who wrote the Search of Excellence, uh, came out of McKinsey, and he was talking about customer care. He said the problem with customer care in most companies is it's just about smiling nicely at customers, and there's a lot more than that. It's a, the idea of a whole synergy with your customers, uh, behaving more like a call and shop, where you actually know your customers. 
Um, yeah. I think that's an interesting comment about customer care. We should consider that when we put that module together. Uh, project management. Uh, so, so, <laughs> people, people, man. people management. Um, this whole idea of getting the right people in the right place at the right time and accepting that in doing that you won't find these people always in your gene pool so you've got to uh, look a bit broader at getting the right people in and making the environment which you're bringing them into attractive because these people have choices. Uh, human asset management. Um, how do you work with people not just to keep them employed and give them a career? Uh, I mean, as they they are, are one of the biggest expenditure item of any company, uh, I, I think the, we, we should treat them as an asset of the company, right? An expenditure of the company. Uh, and, and these people are the ones who are going to deliver all these things. I think uh, investing in them, uh, training them, developing them, auditing the, the movement. Same way we, we look at look after our uh, antennas and exchange boxes and the other infrastructure, I think we should treat our people in a different way and see them as assets of the company, isn't it? I think so. I think people who do that are more successful. A lot of people write it in their mission statement, but <laughs> they don't do much about it. <laughs> about it. I used to like Ericsson where they had a comment which said, um, our asset is our people, the rest is just technology, which I thought was quite good. It is good. I mean, it is, I mean let's, let's put it this way. Without effective people, you don't have a company. Exactly. It's the end of the day. I think we, we look at the strategy here of human resource management in our main core program, but here we are saying make sure that your HR department is not just about uh, hiring and firing and deciding the salaries and you know, just becoming a bureaucratic uh, division. It is a key division. That, I think that's what we, we want to make sure those top managers looking at HR start treating HR as an asset, most important asset of the company. Sales management, uh, mm. my favorite subject. <laughs> uh, most, I, I do a little bit of consulting, and most of the companies I deal with and I'm consulting with uh, seem to think the qualification for being a sales manager is to be a good salesman, and that's totally incorrect. Uh, sales management is all, all, all about planning. And sure. it's a totally different skill. You've still got to have the human interface skills and be able to go along and see customers with your salespeople, but, uh, but it's more of a planning role. Mm -hmm. And you don't necessarily progress from one to the other. So I think taking, uh, uh, taking a good salesman and training to be a manager is, is quite a task. And we can, we can build that in there. I've yeah. done quite a few workshops on that. So. I think that's another key area. I mean, at the end of the day, you have, you know, those are your frontline soldiers, the ones who generating that uh, income, which would have a direct effect on their bottom line, and uh, that's what the stakeholders are looking for. And okay, the last, one, last one, regulatory management. Mm. Uh, I don't I don't know anything about the regulatory organisation in Iran. I must admit, but I can find out. Uh, but most important, of course, you've got to deal with the regulators and they can really affect your strategy about what you do and what you don't do. So some, I, some I, expert needs to talk about that. Uh, the, the, the telecom companies, wherever they are involved, they, because they come from that government sort of sector, there are regulations controlling them what they can do. So all of them are facing some regulatory uh, framework. Also, as a company that ambitions to go outside your borders, you've got to face other regulatory issues to look at. And also there are a lot of protocols for these companies to work with each other, uh, contracts, legal matters. So uh, that is a specializing in that. You, a small group of people are going to be there. We're going to uh, pull expertise locally and internationally for that. Well, being a being a capitalist society, you are going to be controlled very heavily on competition laws, sure. which will mean that uh, you will be forced eventually, if you're not already, to, uh, to share your network 
uh, at a reasonable cost for your competitors. But on the other hand, as we were discussing earlier, uh, this causes this is a plus to you when you go offshore. So it's sure. a double-edged sword. Really. Well, it, it, it's I think is the company has to understand it very well because it creates opportunities and does create threats, which would have effect on the strategic planning and the company objectives and the long-term planning. So it is a key area. It's not a subject somebody would go and read it themselves, is it? I mean, it's not fun. <laughs> so, so I think we need to add this. They're going to get next to So now having done this specialized subject, what do you think? I think we pretty well have uh, dotted all the I's and crossed the T's. Uh, the devil's in the detail, of course. We need to get down below this and, and think specifically how we deliver it to get maximum impact and look at what we mean by specific headings. But that's what we do here. That's yeah. what we've been doing for as long as I've been here. It feels like forever, but it's been 10 years. Well, it, 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 <laughs> I, I, I think that's where, where we come into, I mean, often we have been talking about what's a program, what are the subjects in it. Uh, we have got the experience of many years, decades of teaching it. We've got a team members like John and others here, which they are experts with John himself, obviously with the background in telecom. I don't think this is a big challenge for us, but uh, we're going to close this section as well and give you a break again. Next section will be again a short one. I know you're getting tired. It would be about the, 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 the devil is in the details, as John said it, and uh, education is not something like a piece of equipment you buy and you can use it. Unfortunately, it has to be transferred. So, so we talk, we will talk and somebody has to listen. So we will look at it and we want to make sure we will have a very effective uh, program for you.